Welcome back. Now, the Young and Industrious is back due to public de demand. We do listen to you when you send us your comments. Now, what would you do with a hybrid car whose battery is faulty and the cost of its replacement is way beyond your current financial ability? Did you know that it can be fixed as you work on a budget for a new one? Well, 30-year-old Kelvin Mawira fixing the hybrid battery is a source of of his livelihood. Our reporter Ian Muse visited his garage in Thika and filed the following report. The history of hybrid cars stretches back over 100 years, being defined as any car that runs on two sources of power namely a gasoline engine and an electric motor. While it may seem that hybrids are a recent phenomenon, the technology has been built in 1899 by engineer Ferdinand Porsche. With many Kenyans having doubts towards owning hybrid cars due to perceived prone to battery failure, there is hope for hybrid cars with young Kenyans like Kevin Mawira developing ways of fixing the problem. After driving for 45 kilometers from Nairobi, we arrive at Kevin's garage in Thika town. The number of vehicles clearly confirming the inevitable challenge hybrid car owners face. And the, the main challenge was to get someone competent enough to fix the car for him and uh, I think the answers that we would get is what really motivated me to vent to get more interested and uh, venture into the industry. Kevin holds a degree in mechatronics engineering from Dedan Kimathi University and is making a good living out of fixing hybrid cars which he started as a passion while still in campus. By and by, when, when once I was out of school, found myself in the automotive industry, and uh, the desire to learn more about the hybrid was still there, and I saw an opportunity. That's definitely why, because the hybrid uh, market was growing, and I thought this could be a good opportunity. Once a vehicle arrives at the garage, a diagnosis is done to establish the faulty models in the hybrid battery pack. Once the faulty ones are identified, the process begins, which may entail replacing the models with new ones or fixing the not so damaged ones. We first run our duck to ascertain the problem and the issue that is that's being direct, uh, what, uh, that based on the customer company would try to check whatever would be causing the issue. And then of course now is uh, the actual now checking of the component. Uh, say it's the battery hybrid. Uh, that involves opening up the battery and doing tests on the individual modules. Most of them have uh, separatable uh, modules that uh, can be serviced individually. He however clarifies that some high-end hybrid vehicles are fixed differently. Mercedes, most of them come with lithium batteries that uh, you have to change the complete battery back. There is no reconditioning, so that one now you have to recharge the replacement of the battery pack, which is around 15,000 for the replacement. Nyambura, Kevin's sister and associate, helps with both the technical and the marketing of the business. She has embraced the Jiwakali tech field dominated by men with ease, welcoming the challenges they are in. It's not as much as it was before back then, you know, when we have women trying to get into the field. Right now I feel like it's more open and it's embracing the change. We've seen even garages that are f just women-owned garage and fully, fully uh, serviced by women uh, come up. With a strong social media presence, especially on X platform, she educates the public on hybrid cars, as well as market her expertise on the technical aspects of her job. I realized there was a knowledge gap 
for people who own hybrids about uh, care for the hybrid vehicles, services for the hybrid vehicles, and also people do not know where to go when they have hybrid issues. And also just to encourage the take up, because sometimes people don't take this new technology because they do not know where to get the information and the right help. So that's how I got myself in X and I have grown to this point. The future is promising for hybrid and electric cars with more solutions provided for challenges that may arise with the ever-changing technology in the automotive sector. Now, the future is electric, you know, and sometimes it's not because we want to, it's because there are rules and laws that are out there where we buy our cars that will catch up with us because we buy our cars from them. If they're no longer producing ICE engines, that means we will have to buy fully electric, uh, we'll have to buy hybrids. Reporting for Young and Industrious, I'm Ian Muse.